this is going to save you money by watching this video. Well, good morning and welcome back. Um, for anyone that doesn't know me, I'm Josh Ramwell. I'm a, a driving instructor at the Toucan Driving School. Today, I'm going to show you some key areas of learning. So I'm going to do a bit of a mock test and just show you some perfect driving in some of the key subjects, such as roundabouts, turning right at roundabouts, going straight on at roundabouts, crossroads, some real nasty junctions with, with hill starts, and just show you some of the key areas. So a good instructor won't just tell you what to do. They will show you what to do and explain what to do and the reasons why. The really important thing is why, because with understanding comes decision making. And when you pass your driving test and you've got your big boy pants on, you're not going to have anyone there to tell you what to do or which way to go or anything else. So it's important that you are able to make those decisions yourself. And to make those decisions, you need to understand why you should be doing these things. So everything I do today, I'm going to try and explain why I do it. Now, maybe you're practicing during lockdown, or maybe you're not. Maybe you just want to practice alongside your driving lessons with your driving instructor. Either way, this is going to save you money by watching this video. You're going to have less time wasted introducing these new skills. You're going to understand as you get into that car, which means you're going to require less lessons and you're going to therefore pay less money. So let's get started. Before we do, smash that like and subscribe. Let's go. So first thing, let's just check those side mirrors. So with the side mirrors, you want about two fingers thickness of seeing the car. Um, you also want to see, I always do it with the front door handle. If I can just see the very corner of the front door handle in the bottom left corner of the mirror, I know it's normally about right. Um, on top of that, you want to see about half the sky and half the road. Again, then you know you've got that 50-50 mark, you know your mirrors are right. Um, obviously, whatever happens, make sure you can see down the road or, or down behind you, wherever you are. Next, we want to check the central mirror. So central mirror, we want to make sure we can see the entire rim, like a picture frame of the back window. And that way we know that we can see the whole window. Now, obviously before all of this, you need to make sure your seat's right. And I already checked and I know my, my seat is right. So that's all good. Next, let's go. So into first, check around the car. Nice and clear because we're in a car park. Let's go. So coming out of the car park, so I'm checking my central left mirror and I'm signaling left. Let's see here. Okay, now I'm coming to a beautiful crossroads with a stop sign. I'm gonna go straight on at the crossroads. So I'm just putting the clutch down at the last second. I'm staying in first. It's nice and clear all the way and I caught the bite on the hill, so I'm carrying up. Okay, so if we're looking ahead now, we can see a really tight band. You see the sign on the left? showing us a tight bend. We can also see a house in front of us. So we know this road bends around to the right from the sign. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay nice and slow so I can get around this bend. And look at that. Really important we stay on our side of the road there. Because obviously if we invaded another, the other side of the road and that van was coming, it's gonna be a bad day for everyone. So we can see slow on the road. We can also see a, a sign with uh, bends. Bend to the right and then a bend to the left. I'm in a diesel car, so my gears are always a bit lower. So I'm gonna drop down to second for this. Another sign for cows. So I'm being prepared to go around this corner. Now this is a rural area, um, as I'm sure you might have guessed from all the car cow signs and the warning signs. Very little road markings. Now I've got a warning for deer. See how windy this road is. So I'm still just keeping the sign, the, the speed down because I can't see around the corners. I can't see around the corners. You know, there's nothing, no reason why a cyclist couldn't be around here and it just wouldn't feel safe. Again, looking ahead, you've got a slow sign and you've got a sharp bend to the right sign. Now, now there's no street lights, and we know what the rule is, street lights at the motor. No street lights, then it's a national speed limit, and on a single carriageway, that is, you guessed it, 60 miles an hour. Now I've got a nice straight ahead, so it is safe to get up to, to speed a little bit here, it's still quite bumpy, so I'm going about 55. Again, as you can see, a lot of 
tarmac repair here, which means, as you can guess, the road is quite bumpy. So it is a national speed limit still, 60 miles an hour, but I'm not going to get up to 60 because it just doesn't feel safe. It's too bumpy. I'm not in a, a go-kart or a Jeep or anything else. Okay, so the sign on the left, we've got a sharp bend to the left and then sharp bend to the right. So I should already be looking in my mirrors, dropping down to fourth, first of all, easing off the gas just taking this bend nice and gently. Keep me on that central mirror, just making sure, making sure it's clear. Again, another sharp bend. No point going quick, can't see what's around the corner. Um, more sharp bends. I can see it's going to continue like this, so I'm gonna drop down into third gear now. Lots of signs for cattle crossing, so again, I'm just covering that gas, that brake, just making sure there's nothing crossing around here. God, we've got a really sharp bend here. Now, as you can see, there's lots of leaves on the road, uh, there's mud. The second it starts raining, getting icy, that is going to be so slippy around that corner. So, I, I would be going 20, 22 perhaps around there, uh, just so there's no risk and you feel more comfortable driving it. Now this is a test route around Stoke-on-Trent by the way, around Newcastle and Deline by the way, so keep that in mind. Right, look at this sharp bend sign to the left, really sharp bend. Now this is a continuous road, so we don't signal and we don't stop. Uh, we do continue, we've got cars behind us, so that would be dangerous, so we just need to slow right down. I'm getting right down to 10. There we go, 10 miles an hour to, to get around that bend. Okay, now we've got a nice hill start coming up and a crossroads, we're going to be turning left. There's a 40 mile an hour sign, which means this road I'm pulling out onto is going to be 40 miles an hour, so I need to take that in mind when I'm thinking about pulling out. There is also a stop sign, which means, you guessed it, I must stop by law. Okay, to the right, it's nice and clear, I can't see a car at all, which is going to give me plenty of time to get up to speed in case a car does suddenly appear. Now I'm checking my mirror, that car's also pulled out, so I'm absolutely fine. I'm getting up to speed reasonably quickly, but comfortably at the same time, just so I'm not delaying anyone. We've got some sharp bends coming up, so I'll keep an eye on that. I'm not speeding up too much. New speed limit signs coming up, new zone, 50 miles an hour. So I can continue to speed up now, up to the 50 mark, just nice and gently. While the road's reasonably quiet, I'm just going to briefly mention to keep an eye on how I'm uh, keep an eye on how I'm changing gear. So I, I, I do a technique called palming. Um, and it makes life so much easier if you can practice it. Sometimes if you're just stuck in your ways, it's quite difficult to, to get out of, but if you practice this technique, it will change your changing gear life. Um, it's just so much easier, and the gear always goes where it wants to go. Anyone seen Happy Gilmore? The gear goes home. Go home. So, I'm in fourth gear. I want to change the fifth. Gently push it from the back of my palm, pull it to the side and straight into fifth. Nice and easy, new roundabout ahead. Don't miss a sign, guys, don't miss a sign. Roundabout, I'm following the road straight, so I'm gonna check the central mirror. I'm dropping it down, straight down to third from fifth, because there's nothing wrong with block changing. Okay, he's blocking that cut round of that junction off, and it's nice and clear anyway. Central mirror, left mirror, signal left. And carry on, I stayed in the left lane there. Did you see I positioned it nicely round the outside of the roundabout? Okay, we've got possible horse riders around this corner, so we need to be aware. Nice and clear, the way I like it. Okay, so we can't see any street lights at the moment. No street lights, which means national speed limit. Okay, so we've got a slow and reduced speed now. Uh, this is a crossroads sign, so I am just covering the brake a little bit. I'm just keeping an eye on it, and it's nice and clear, so I'm continuing. It's just being aware. Those signs are to make sure you are aware of what's coming up. Try and take your, your head away from daydreaming about tea or, you know, the row with the missus or the mister. Uh, we're getting back focused on the road. Okay, we've got street lights. And I can look ahead and I can see a 40 mile per hour sign. So we are leaving our 60 uh, national speed limit. I am just going to start slowing down now. I'm 
before I'm into the zone, I'm down to 40. Now, we're going to be turning right here. Now you can see there's a central area, a central reservation for turning right. Uh, just dropping it down to third. I'm nicely in that central reservation. There is a car coming, it's not clear, so I am just going to wait. So I've popped it into first. I've got my bite, just set the gas, and I'm looking into the road where I'm going, and then gently turn that car around. Now, being in that central reservation, I wasn't blocking anyone else. I mean, it was nice and quiet anyway, but it was still uh, safe to do. So we're turning right here, so central mirror, right mirror, signal right. There is a cyclist. I am just going to start easing off the, the, the gas and slowing down. That way I shouldn't have to stop. Look at that. We don't have to stop now. By just controlling your speed, when you know you're turning right and there's a, a car in a like that situation, car bike coming, if you just slow down a bit earlier, it's going to be far better because you're not going to have to stop. Or you can continue at the same speed, have to stop at the junction, mess around changing it to first, mess around getting the bite, and then carry on with a possible swan neck. Okay, so we've got a car on the left, so I need to overtake to central mirror, right mirror, gently go round the car. Now, I didn't signal there. Why didn't I signal? Loads of junctions here. If I signaled and there was a car behind me, he's going to think possibly I'm turning right, which I'm not doing, so I don't really want to be doing that. Now, I'm going to demonstrate a quick pull over on the left, so central mirror, left mirror, signal left. There is a junction just here, so I'm gonna go just past this junction, I have two car lengths past the junction. And there we go. Handbrake, neutral, signal off. Now if you're looking there, if I'm looking behind us or looking ahead, we are at least two car lengths away from both junctions, so there's no need, uh, so there's no issues around there. Um, if we look in the side mirror, we are, or you can see from the uh, from the forward facing camera, we are about 30 centimeters from the curb, that's absolutely fine. There is no need to be touching the curb. You're just going to be damaging your tires, which we really don't want to be doing. Now, I'll demonstrate how we're going to drive away. So, clutch down, into first, see the palming there? Side of the hand, always the side of the hand. You won't go wrong ever with the side of your hand. So if you're struggling to change gear, start palming. Side of the hand for every changing gear situation. Okay, so. I've set the I've set the uh, clutch. I've set a bit of gas. Uh, checking out my window mirror, 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 mirror. There is a bike coming. I'm going to let the bike go. There's also a car coming, so I'm just going to let that car go as well. That person was brave. Okay, again, I'm going to check out the blind spots. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Blind spot. It is now clear. Handbrake's going down. I am going to pop a signal on just in case and off we go. Now I said a pop a signal on just in case. You don't have to signal when you're pulling away from the side of the road if it's clear. If there's no one to signal for, at the end of the day, you're not signaling for your own good, you're signaling for other people. And if there's no one at all, no dog walker, no person walking, no jogger, no car, then there's no need to signal from the side of the road. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of the road at junction, so I'm going to be turning right, so I'm checking my central mirror, my right mirror, nice and early, and I popped a signal on nice and early. Uh, this lets the car behind me know exactly where I'm going. I'm slowing down early because this car stopped here, so there's no point rushing. I don't quite know what this person's doing here because it's. Again, I'm going around a bike, I've just check my central mirror and my right mirror as I go around to make sure no one's overtaking me as I go around. Car, you can see there's a car behind me, there's no reason why he might not. Well, you know, you get the drift. Okay, after this White House, I'm turning right, so I'm checking the central mirror, the white mirror, and I'm signaling. Okay, so I'm slowing down nice and early, and that just means I'm staying on my side of the road. Really important you don't cut those corners. Um, if you cut the corner and a car's coming the other way, you're going to uh, cause a hazard. Um, obviously it's an instant test fail as well because it's very very dangerous speed limit down here can't see any speed signs but what can we see street lights at the motor so what do street lights mean street lights mean 30 miles per hour if there are no speed signs Poking 
looking out here, just be a bit careful. So check my mirror as I go around that van, um, just to be safe. So this video was particularly long, so I've cut it into two parts, part one and part two. This is the end of part one. I'll see you for part two. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already.